Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Goddess Daryl. I will here. I hope you guys are doing well today. I have a message for Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Or if you have a three girls watching for Capricorn, you're welcome. Please remember that these messages are general. Today I'm gonna start with what's going on in your life and a message from spirit, a little advice from spirit, and uh, we'll see where the message takes us, okay? Um, I'm gonna start by clearing the energy with a singing bowl. So if you don't like this part, you're more than welcome to um, lower your volume. And uh, let's see. Let's see what's the most important message here from the spirit guys. So you guys have growth, rest, and happiness here. So let's see what this is about. I feel like some of you guys are seeing the things, uh, the fruits of your labor here. You guys finally can rest. Some happiness, happiness coming your way. So let's see, let's clarify these um, cards here about what is going on here in your energy. You guys are learning to be flexible at this time. Yes. Chuck shop, especially when it comes to uh, working hard here. I shop with. And happiness, taking a nap. Maybe it's time for you guys to just um, take a break here from work, resting, okay? Being flexible with yourself. Okay. Yeah, so you guys learn things to the faith here, you co creating with God. This is the message you're about to receive about mending or sending this gift uh, to bring something to balance here for you guys. All right, let's see what this energy is about. Where are you being flexible at? Flexible with yourself, no overworking, no overdoing it here. Uh, you guys feel happy at this stage? You guys feel like you finally can breathe, take a break from uh, your workplace. Maybe you're uh, <clears throat> being so passionate to work extra hard and learning to put yourself first. Let go emotional appeal, embrace the renewal, the presence. Like you guys are learning to let go of your emotions, uh, starting to be flexible here, resting from working so hard. Uh, guys, uh, we also have cracker coming up. Positive energies around you at this time. Love to and good fortune awaits you. Okay, seems so like you guys know that you're ready from the world, you're just waiting for this. Uh, positive energy uh, for the fruit of the labor here. Okay, and you have time to right now. There's a proposal coming your way. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated at this time. 
can cause you a lot of happiness it seems like so hard times are over look forward to abundance and happiness enthusiasm and positivity very beautiful energy here coming out here for you capricorn um, so you let you're learning to let go and be flexible with your emotions at this time uh, you are uh, surrounding yourself with positive energy love and joy uh, you're taking a break from working so hard in your life you're being happy at this time and um while you're resting there might be some type of proposal here coming your way um and this can bring you a lot of happiness okay let's, let's There's definitely some type of contract you guys are about to embody in. Mm -hmm. This is what you are it's stepping into your power here. This is going to bring you a lot of like uh, a heart fulfillment here. It's something you love to do. There's a lot of uh, possibilities. As well, very beautiful, and you're very um, intuitive. You know uh, what this reading is about. It's like you guys are giving you signs and synchronicities at this time. Yeah, this is, it has to do about somebody uh, that might be willing to um, to put an effort towards you this time. Appreciate you this time, have preparation in the bottom of the deck. Made to invest in you, some type of um, soul contract after a very, uh, um, after a very hard, hard time that you went through. There was a power card there as well. So, this could happen after uh, you learn how to deal with your emotions and, and, and rest from work. And you're resting, you're taking a nap. There's some type of proposal coming your way, some type of contract where you're stepping into your uh, power here, some type of uh, hard work fulfillment here. And you can see a lot of possibilities when it comes to this uh, business proposal or uh, romantic proposal here. You feel like you have a soul contract with this person, but it was faded. Okay, this is something that was faded to happen this way. Very beautiful energy here. Let's see what your advice from spirit is. What's your advice from spirit? What's your advice from spirit? We have clairvoyance, okay, and kind of Raciel and helping you spiritual side to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. We have passion, trust and follow to renew passions in your love, life, and career. Additional learning, uh, kind of Sadiqiel, keep an open mind, learn new ideas, and teach this idea to others. So I feel like here, the spirit guides are giving you. Uh, this time to some of you things, you see things very clearly now that you know what you're passionate about and they want you to follow that when it comes to your love life and career as well there's some new things that you might be learning at this time that you speak guys want you to teach this to others okay this teaching to others is, is going to help you um, help others around you when they have been in the same situation that you uh, you were in in the past okay you could be a very mutual um uh, caring person that people goes to you for advice as well and um, just for you guys that tell me you teach this idea towards others allow others to uh, step into the energy of love and rise above the problems here share that knowledge within you towards others here this is what i'm getting um where should your focus be at this time capricorn where should your focus be Okay, this deck, this is not from this deck, but this actually came 
out someone and leave it here it says wrongful advice it could have been some type of advice that somebody gave you was the wrong advice here okay we have forgiveness um just you guys want you to focus on forgiving yourself forgiving others at this time um take some time out to do some mindful uh tactile exercise here you know, uh, maybe take five minutes to, uh, to mention five things you can see, five things you can smell, five things you can touch, and kind of ground yourself in the experience of being mindful and tactile and um, your presence here, okay? There might be a very uh, important decision that you need to make here. I sure you guys are helping me with that as well. This has to do with something with um, your self-image here, the way that people see you. Being grateful for the things that you have, your self-expectations, managing your goals. Very beautiful energy, and being mindful in the natural observation. Some of you could benefit from going outdoors and just observe the nature here, observe the things that you see, the little birds, the flowers, the um, butterflies, the bees, some of you guys have been seeing bees as well. Uh, and this is you trying to get some type of managing what is uh, the downloads you're getting in your head, trying to push those downloads into a practice and uh, kind of see your rewards here, okay? You have a lot of self expectation for yourself and image you want to give to others. Uh, and there's some type of decision that you have to make here. Somebody could have given you uh, uh, the past of wrongful advice, and it's time for you to forgive yourself and forgive others for maybe taking that advice as well. Okay, let's see what Tarot has to say about this. you to deal with a lot of toxic um, of memories from the past, a lot of um, <sighs> obsessions as well, memories, that dark memories from the past as well. Yeah, yeah we have the sister cups here. It's something that you already moved on from. And um, maybe somebody tried to give you or offer you a new beginning uh, that took you back to those painful memories from the past, something that you already walked away from, okay? So what is coming towards you now after you see this? What's going to you now? Yeah, you're definitely uh, tending uh, nervous about moving forward here, okay? But you're moving forward fast, okay? Even though you are afraid something is moving forward fast towards you. Okay, and it's success. Success moving towards you now, okay? Even though you're standing here afraid of moving forward with some type of new endeavor, this new endeavor is gonna bring you success, okay? We also have the uh, for a while, this could be in your community, Okay, with a person, somebody we've been patient about, okay, as well. Take the messages that they resonate. It seems like, um, now that you see this, um, this wrongful advice that came towards you, just, just standing strong in your power, you are walking away from this toxic, uh, obsessive behavior, and um, even though you feel afraid, something's moving fast towards you, and this could be some type of uh, successful endeavor in your life. It could also be in love, happiness okay yeah let's see what is this success about the capricorn we have the hair fan so this is something that maybe you are trying to uh, some type maybe a company workplace 
put some type of nail-ish in your life and it seems like you are about to put something to rest here I'm about to say enough I already learned my spiritual lesson here yeah you're very very patient uh, all of you ask is an equal give and take here in your situation you're being very patient towards uh, your goals here feel about a missed opportunity from the past uh, that is returning back to you we have the ace of cups here okay so something that you, you, you saw as a missed opportunity is returning back into your life okay it's gonna bring you a lot of emotional um <clears throat> emotional fulfillment here okay this is a new beginning this is something that um you're about to come back come back towards you okay this could be something that um you left out the, uh, the past and you didn't think it was coming back all right what is this it's about oh an ending to something that is going to cause a a, a, a YouTube plan towards the future. There's a brand, a brand new opportunity. This is gonna bring you a lot of money, and success, or emotional uh, uphill. Okay, this opportunity come from God here because you learn to let go of something um, that was hurting you from the past. Yeah, you are about to release all your worries here with the eight of uh, Source and Universe here. And planning, you planning uh, to hold back from your burdens. Yeah, you don't, you don't wanna uh, keep to yourself these burdens anymore. You're planning to, to just release it. Okay, there's some type of light betrayals or something that you're about to come out when it comes to some type of emperor or man, um, male figure in your life. Some type of uh, truth. Or um, this coming out, some type of decision coming out to light here. It's gonna bring some type of judgment to your life. This could uh, bring that chaos, chaos, and comfort in the past, but you're seeing things clearly now with the sun coming out here. Okay. Yeah. This is something that you have manifested in the background. I've been being betrayed by your community, the people around you. Okay. Wow. Very beautiful energy. If you like to know more and this is resonating with you and I don't hit all the messages here right now, you can always look at reading with me and I can go forward and more than welcome to pull out this energy back and see what's going on here, okay? Alright, what does your guys want you to to know about this situation? Okay, you guys are telling you there was a strict sexual connection here, it's passionate but not enduring. There was film boundaries that need to be. Uh, set now at this time and to go slow do not rush into things take time to get to know each other uh, your new person do not rush okay it is time for you to maybe um get to know a person before you make decisions from now on uh this is some type of lesson you're learning at this time so go ahead and take it slow okay all right let's see what your angel messages are and then we're gonna move on with who are the people in your energy? The numbers you could be seeing, the charms as well. In a second. Oh, well, they wanted to come out anyway. We have Send the Master, Powerful, Loving, Wise, Spiritual Teachers are watching you and guiding you at this time. Cut the cords. Ask Akanya Michael to clear any old, old attachment to fears that stem from the past relationship, then from your destructive patterns at this time. It's time for you to cut some cords here. People, places, and things from the past. So strong boundaries here. Okay. And we also have that box. Oh, Jesus. 
right? Any worries or concerns or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a black box has a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So it's not for you to guys write down uh, all those worries and concerns and return them to God, okay? So run those worries to God and don't worry about it. Let God handle it, okay? The hassle of Plexus Chakra, it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in positive way. It is not for you to take positive charge in your life. Move on. Okay, let's see what are the people in your energy. Wow, the soul is nice in the energy of this time. All right, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo, an Aries, and a Scorpio at this time. Numbers you could be seeing are, could be seeing the number four, number six, number three, number 12, two 12 could be significant, 10, 12, 11, 12, 11, 10, 7, 11, 10, 10, and 1, 11 at this time. What are these? Thank you for in next couple of days to tell you this is your reading. Okay, we have the Tree of Life. A crown. And we have a heart. A single heart. Alright, Capricorn, this is your reading. This reading has resonated with you. In any way, make sure that you hit that like button. Um, like, share, and subscribe my content. I would like to have you. If you like a personal reading, my information is down below. And I hope you have a great week. I'll see you later.